Okay, so I should start with a caveat. The Exorcist is one of my essential five movies. What that means, it's one of the uh, first movies that I have a vivid memory of watching when I was a child. And it's one of those movies that shaped my sensibilities in terms of what movies I like, um, my own, you know, filmmaking style, that, that whatever. But um, so I'm going to say this. I'm just because I want to let everyone know that there's probably going to be some bias that will come out of some of the words that I'm going to say about this movie, The Exorcist Believer. So this is the 2023 legacy reboot sequel-ish kind of thing from David Gordon Green, which he also did with Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. Okay. I liked Halloween 2018. I hated Halloween Kills. Hated it. Halloween Ends was okay. Okay, so I'm just going to get to the plot. Uh, basically, uh, Leslie Odom Jr. from uh, like Hamilton, uh, he has a daughter uh, that's 13 years old. Um, her mother, his uh, wife, died tragically um, in a, uh, an earthquake in Haiti, which was, that sequence was actually done really well. Um, and she was pregnant at the time. Uh, Leslie Odom Jr. had to make a choice. Uh, to save either his wife or his daughter. Um, the daughter obviously uh, lived. She and another friend of hers decide to go into the woods uh, to do an incantation. At least that's kind of what's implied to talk to her uh, dead mother. Uh, they disappear for three days. And then when they come back, uh, that just unlocks a chain of events that uh, happens. And then we get a whole thing of uh, demonic possession, and then um, Ellen Burstyn, uh, someone, a character suggests that they talk to Chris McNeil, who is Ellen Burstyn's character from the uh, original uh, Exorcist from uh, 1973, uh, so she can uh, get involved and, and whatever. So, okay. So the first act, I really liked. Like I said, that started out with the uh, scene in Haiti, uh, with the earthquake, um, the, the disappearance of the girls, um, the pacing of that. I really liked that. Um, the, um, relationship between Leslie Lillian Jr. and his daughter at the beginning was really effective. It was a way to, to pull the, uh, the audience in. The other girl, I didn't give a fuck about. I'm just going to say it. Uh, she's from the, the other... Let's call them generic white family because that's really all they were in this. The story really concentrated more on Leslie Odom Jr.'s. Like the the arc of this movie was really Leslie Odom Jr. and his daughter. Um, so I don't really know why this other girl was in this movie. This exorcist movie could have done everything the same without this other family. But I guess they wanted to ramp up. Um, everything. So, yeah, the, the girls come back, they uh, are acting funny, they're, um, you know, talking all demonic and doing all the, the stuff. And Okay. We've seen all this before. Um, jump cuts. Um, they tried to do things to uh, make it look like, ins there's a shot that I, that they basically swipe from Insidious. Um, they tried to do uh, the exorcism in a, a different way where they had people of different faiths and it was a decent idea I, I could see what they were trying to do they were trying to say like you know uh, people of different faiths may ha deal with uh, you know demons and spirituality and all that stuff differently so you know they all get involved but there was a lot of people involved and there was just so many characters it was just hard to and at the same time, that ending exorcism, I don't know how they would have gotten away with doing what they did. And a lot of it didn't seem to make a lot of sense to me. I'm not sure as well uh, what the point of a specific character was. There was a 
a Catholic priest. He showed up, I think, maybe halfway into the movie. They tried to, like, set him up as, like, the big exorcism priest. I'm not going to spoil what happens, but it's just a wasted opportunity. And now we're going to get to uh, Ellen Burstyn, speaking of wasted opportunities. Uh, I think she's in three scenes. They basically waste her. Uh, she's a legacy character. Uh, they've done this with Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween. They did this with all the uh, Star Wars characters for the Star Wars sequel movies. Um, and David Gordon Green does not do a whole lot with her. Actually, if I'm going to be honest, if you guys have seen Halloween Kills, there's going to be a lot of similarities in regards to uh, Ellen Burstyn's role in The Exorcist Believer and Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween Kills. and Yeah. Um, I'm not going to remember this movie in a week. I wanted to like this movie. I love The Exorcist. The Exorcist 2 is bonkers. It's not a great movie, but it's at least memorable. The Exorcist 3 is fantastic. Um, it's one of the better, like, more underrated movie sequels and horror sequels out there. And then there's all these other Exorcist stuff that's out there. None of that's really good either. And So I guess I was hoping because, you know, David Gordon Green, at least with the 2018 Halloween, you know, reboot sequel thing that he did, I was kind of going in with tempered-ish hopeful expectations that this would be a decent movie, but then it just got into the jump scares and it I could tell even the audience that I was with was getting bored. People were actually yawning and, you know, one of the worst sins a movie can commit is to be dull and boring and this is supposed to be like your big you know one of your big Halloween movies uh, of, of the year um, I don't think that it was as effective as, as it wanted to be and uh, that's that's a shame uh, because uh, The Exorcist has a tremendous legacy it is 50 years old now uh, it is still considered one of the scariest movies ever made um, yeah so I want to say that I yeah I can't in in good faith say that I would recommend The Exorcist Believer honestly um Leslie Oldham was okay in it there were a lot of things that happened that he would just kind of have a huh okay kind of reaction to uh his daughters and and that's another thing actually I want to get into one of the really effective things with the original Exorcist was the uh, connection and the heartbreak that she felt for um, Chris McNeil um, when she's seeing everything that Reagan is going through. And when we're watching Exes Believer and we're seeing Leslie Odom kind of, he doesn't have just a, a lot of like reactions to be like, you know, I think kind of, I think he's trying to turn things around at the end. But for the most part, it's just like, huh, okay, uh, you're bleeding blood from your mouth. Huh, okay, now you have, like, a cross upside... I don't know. It was just weird. Um, yeah. I can't recommend it. Um, David Gordon Green, you fucked up. I'm sorry. I gotta say it, dude. And uh, I think there's gonna be sequels coming. Maybe depending on how this does at uh, the box office. I don't know. I don't know. That's how I feel. Uh, if you've seen the movie... Uh, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.